everybody, welcome to Trees' World. Oh, hit my hat. I think this video comes under projects, and it's certainly a project which, to be quite honest, I would say to anybody, um, if you know um, a builder or a guy who's willing to do this particular project, then I'd say get them to do it. Because <laughs> I'm doing this myself, and my God, it is hard work, hard graft. And um, the project is laying stepping stones let me show you so this is where the old stepping stones were you can see they're quite spaced far apart they're not a natural step and they went all the way down the fence line so i put the stepping stones down in their position two weeks ago and i kept moving them around until i was happy um, with the curve and their positioning so having been on the ground for two weeks they then obviously um, kill the grass beneath so then when you lift the stone you've got um, the imprint of the shape of your stone um, with the dead grass let me show you so I've laid this one this one that's the dead grass and I've got to cut around that and then lift that turf up and then this one here is still to be done and that one and that one and that one, 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 and that one. Oh my God. The hardest thing is digging that turf out <laughs> and putting the spade down the edge or round the edge of each stepping stone. It just doesn't slide in nicely like all the other videos on YouTube show. <laughs> you, have, you have to really kind of push hard and, and, and the grass because it's all kind of like knitted together um, my spade won't go in very easily well you'll see I'll show you in a minute but um, that's the tough bit lifting that piece of turf to the shape of the stepping stone out um, to be honest you know I have got friends I could ask to do this for me but I do get a buzz out of doing things like this myself and I can look up the garden and think oh I laid those and it was damn hard work but I did it um, I'm not sure whether they are level I know they're level but I'm not sure whether some of them are a tiny bit lower than the grass line should they be in line with it I think some of mine are a little bit lower I might go back and re-lift them and put more gravel underneath but I'll just see I, I'm not sure I'm not a huge like perfectionist like that but um, I'll just see if there's an odd one that looks a bit odd then I'll sort it out <laughs> anyway I'll show you how hard it is to dig round a stepping stone
See, it's damn hard work. And is it because my spade isn't sharp? Uh, maybe I've got a blunt spade, I don't know. But um, I've got a little more of these to do. But basically, once you lift the turf, um, well, I'll show you. So then you have to scoop the soil out um, and then put um, a bed of sand. It's a grit sand, um, not very, not very thick, only just a shallow depth and kind of guess, well, I'm guessing <laughs> how kind of deep to make this hole or, you know, how to kind of fit that, that stone in so it sits in the right position. And like I said, I never know whether it should be slightly higher than the lawn, slightly lower than the lawn, or right in line with the lawn. <laughs> Some of them, are mine are slightly, maybe slightly higher, maybe slightly lower. <laughs> no, actually, they're not higher. They're more on the lower side. And um, if they sink even lower, then I might have a problem. I might have to redo a couple, oh, but I don't think I will. Okay, I think this job is extra hard work because number one, it's so hot. Number two, I'm a woman and I'm not as physically strong as some blokes. Some blokes would just get that spade in, whoosh, whoosh, out. <laughs> and I'm kind of like, I don't know, just, yeah, just not as strong as a bloke at the end of the day. And I'm wondering if my spade might be blunt. God knows, I don't know. But anyway, um, nine down, 11 to go. Can't wait to get it all done. Um, really excited actually for when it is done. I'm on the last stepping stone and I've went along to the Vision Village shop and bought myself a little treat. Oh, a cornetto. Haven't I had one of those for a while? Mm. I deserve this. This has been such hard work. <laughs> Finished at last. Let me take you for a walk up my pathway. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, I've nearly tripped. <laughs> okay. Really pleased. Really, really pleased. And it stops here. And I've got a little hedge growing there, a privet. That side and that side. And then this space here, not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. I'm so pleased I've got this all done now. I'm going to stay in my hands. Oh my God, and I was wearing gloves. <laughs> and I just, oh, I just feel filthy actually, all kind of like muddy and grubby and hot and sweaty and it is time for a shower. So I'm going to say bye-bye now. Um, if you like my channel, hit subscribe. It'd be lovely to have more followers. Um, but I do this, you know, it's a hobby and um, I just um, like to share little projects that I do with everybody. So um, anyway, I will see you in my next video. And by the way, uh, my channel is not all about the camper, as you can see, it varies, all different things. <laughs> it's like a magazine channel. That's what I like to think of it. Anyway, see you again. Um, bye bye everybody. Stay safe, trees as wild. <laughs>